your boy Gabriel, just another fan TV, back at another video. Uh, first off, I want to mention new subscribers, man. Thank you guys, I appreciate y'all. Um, like, comment, subscribe, uh, share this video with other people. Thank you guys for doing that. Thanks for hitting that button, man. I really love it. I really love and enjoy making these videos. So I just want to mention y'all. I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, so this video is going to be about Ravens OTAs and what do we want to see. I'm labeling it part one because as we know, OTAs happen over a 10 day, multiple periods that consist of 10 days in total. So I think that the first one is the 24th to the 26th. Then they have more coming up in June. So as we get more information and progress, I'll make a part two uh, based on what we've seen and um, maybe with some more that, we, that they haven't shown that we want to see, right? So the NFL offseason works in three phases. Phase one is the, well, all of it is voluntary, but is the workouts that's um, in kind of shirts and shorts. Strength and conditioning, just kind of in the gym kind of workouts, right? That's, that's, that's the first workouts we saw, you know, players pushing the sleds, things like that, right? That's phase one. Phase two, um, offensive, decent, defensive players can line up against each other. No live contact allowed. And everything happens at a walkthrough pace. Right? But now we are now firmly in phase three of the NFL offseason program. So phase three is still no live contact. But you can do 11-on-11 11 11 drills, 7-on-7, seven 9-on-7 seven, seven drills. So now we get to see the guys really compete against each other um, in a more in a, I guess, a higher intensity pace than just a regular walkthrough. So that's good. We get to see some one-on-one -on -one battles, wide receiver versus DBs, linebackers versus running backs, things like that. You know, so um, that's good to see. That's good to hear. And that's what the that's what's really exciting about this uh, this phase of the offensive program, right? Secondly, there is one part of the offensive program um, in this phase where the veterans are mandated to be there for the Ravens. That's June 14th to the 16th. Anything before that. Ravens uh, veterans aren't mandatory, aren't mandated to be there. All right. So now, with that being said, what do I want to see um, during this first phase of OTAs? Number one, I would love to see Lamar Jackson in the building. If you check his Instagram, Twitter, that the man is working hard. He's ready to have another another stellar kind of season. But as of right now, he has to sign a new long term contract. So. The future is still uncertain. While I believe he's the long-term quarterback for the Ravens, I think the Ravens organization believes that. Uh, but you know, he hasn't put he hasn't signed the contract yet. It could be con it could be the numbers, it could be a multitude of reasons, right? Could just be he wants to win a championship potentially and then sign a deal. Who knows? But I think having Lamar Jackson in the building this early will be good for the young guys. Get to see an NFL MVP, top five quarterback right there in front of him, chop it up with him, things like that. Uh, I'm sure he probably has some of these guys' number already from the draft, but who knows how much they really um, talked in person. You know, I don't know if anybody's gone out to uh, California or Florida because he's been in both spots training. Uh, I know Bateman and Prochet have been training with him, but besides that, I'm not sure what other famous have. Um, secondly, speaking of young guys, continued progress of the rookies. So we had our update from Ricky Minicamp, who played well, who was a little shaky. The guys who played well, we want to hear that they're continuing to play well, that they're getting even better and better and better. That um, Ricky Minicamp was one thing, but they picked up right where they left off and now in OTAs. Uh, secondly, second year, third year guys, they need to continue to progress. With just the veterans, the Ravens are a good team. But if the Ravens get contribution from their young guys, rookie guys, second year, third year guys, they can be a truly great team. So the young guys need to continue to progress, get better. And that's what we want to hear. That's what we want to see from this team, right? Because they have an important role to play in the Ravens' success. And number three, still about the young guys, but a certain um, cluster of young guys. And that would be the UDFA wide receivers. So we're talking about, about Makai Park, Shamar Bridges, David Williams, Trayvon Clark, Slade Bolden, guys like that. These are guys that have a true chance to make this team. The way the Ravens are currently constructed, at least one or two of these guys will make the roster. If they sign a veteran, probably one. And then maybe some guys go to practice squad or go to opportunity somewhere else. We'll see from there. But the Ravens signed seven or eight UDFA wide receivers to give these guys a chance in camp to prove that they can be on this team. So question is 
who's going to separate themselves? Who's going to say that I'm an NFL receiver, I deserve to be here, I need to be here? That's the main question, right? The Ravens need more talent at receiver, obviously. I still think we have good young guys in place, but we don't have enough bodies in place. At, you know, We only have four guys right now. You need more than four. You need at least six, probably more than that. You'll carry a couple guys on practice squad, right? But as it's currently constructed, the Ravens have open roster spots for wide receivers. So who is going to be that guy to really take this opportunity or guys take this opportunity and say, this is this is where I belong. Um, you need guys. You guys need to put people on the field, whether it's special teams, whether it's offense. I need to be on the team. I need to be on the field. Now, obviously, it's only May. We're really early in the offseason, so nothing obviously is going to be decided now. But playing well now is a good step to playing well in the future is basically what I'm saying. So that's some, that's some of the things that I'm looking for. Hey, you guys let me know. What are you looking for? What highlights do you want to see on the Ravens Twitter IG? What players are you looking forward to uh, to progressing um, and things like that? Who do you think is the player that's in line to take a big step next year and it starts right now, all right? But anyway, so like I said in the beginning, um, as more videos and articles come out, I'll possibly update the OTAs video and um, ask about some things that we want to see, comment on things that we have seen. But until then, it's your boy Gabriel, just on the fan TV. I'm out.